Hi there, so today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my pocket Moterm rings planner. So grab a snack, grab something to drink, buckle in because I got a lot to say and it's going to be quite a chatty flip through. So um, yeah, so this is my planner. It's just so, I don't know, I love the texture of it. It just is so nice to hold. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's a really soft leather and it's got this lovely pebbled texture and it's in this beautiful plum color. I really like this um, planner a lot. This is the first uh, real attempt for me at using a rings planner. Um, I've been using this. I actually thrifted this uh, disc bound planner cover and I just ordered some inserts for it off of um, cloth and papers website and I really like this planner I love this dashboard but it's just much too big and I just feel like I had so much space to fill so I ended up cutting some of these inserts down because I still want wanted to use these and I put them in here so I'll get to that in a second, but I was using that planner. It was just too big, so I wanted something that I can just use every day. And this is what I ended up finding. Um, and I really like the look of like a really worn in, used, well-loved planner, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of the vibe that I'm going for with this. So let's get started with this. So it does have two button uh, closure choices you can do like the smaller one or the larger one which I love that just in case your planner is like a lot chunkier than mine you can do it on the shorter one you know it's just a cool feature but here's the inside I've got kind of a lot going on it's really messy so <laughs> bear with me here but I love all the pockets that this thing has I don't quite have enough things inside of them yet I'm still figuring out what I want to do with like the pocket uh, aspect of this planner. But it does have this uh, pocket in the back that I use a lot. I just have some stickers from cloth and paper. And my sister actually owns, um, she has a sticker shop on Etsy made by Fia. Go check it out. Really beautiful stickers. Um, but yeah, I just have some sticky notes and things in here. This is super random. I don't even know. I got, I got it like in a package from some shop and it's super cute. It's just a little mushroom thing that I punched and put in. The planner comes with this really beautiful fly leaf, just protects everything. It also has a pen loop and I never use a pen in there. It has this other pen loop too though on the back of the cover that I always have. I always use this pen. This is my favorite pen. They're super cheap, but they're, I don't know, they just, they're great pens. Anyways, this is my dashboard. It was, again, something from Cloth and Paper. It came with the inserts that I ordered for this half letter disc planner, and I just punched in, put it in here. I made this inbox insert. I printed it out, and I just have little notes on there. Picture of my cat. Uh, this first section just has a bunch of random notes. I don't even know. Um, getting to the first of my sections here, all of the dividers that you see, obviously I made them myself. They don't look the best. Don't judge me, but hey, it works. It does the job. Um, this is my weekly uh, divider. I do eventually want to buy some dividers for this planner, but I just don't know where to get them from. So if you have any recommendations, please comment down below. Cause I just made this and it's working fine, but it's not, it's very flimsy, you know? I need something sturdy. <laughs> Anyways, so this is my weekly section. I just have these little inserts that I made and printed out, you know, nothing special. And then I have my assignments for for college, whatever. Um, I really like undated inserts, so all of these are undated and I just go in with my pen and write in the date. Um, I don't really like to use weekly inserts all that much, so I also have a daily section, 
because if I ever have a day that's just loaded and loaded with tasks, I'll just use the daily um, insert, which th these inserts actually came with the planner. So if you happen to order this, you'll also get these inserts. Um, but I don't really use these very much either. Um, I don't know, it just depends on how much I got going on that day. Another picture of my other cat, I have three cats. So <laughs> there's one photo of each of them in here because they're my little babies. So that's one. Another divider that I made, it's my monthly section. And this is actually one insert from this planner that I just cut down. I don't even know how to explain it. So obviously it doesn't quite fit. So I just had to fold the edge over, but I can still use the insert this way. So it's just my calendar one. And then I have like a notes page right next to each of them. And I just have one for every month in the year. So there's a blank one. As you can see, I chopped it right there. <laughs> and then it just has like a grid, um, on the back where I can take notes and there's a little section for next month in case I have anything for the following month. So it works, it doesn't exactly fit, but hey, it works. Another picture of my third cat. <laughs> this is such a funny picture of him. So I, I just love that anyways. So I have this finance section. This section is all over the place. I've seen that people, that they'll use expenses trackers there's all these different kinds of inserts that you can get. I don't have any of those, <laughs> but I would like to start, you know, buying specific um, personalized inserts someday when I figure out how I want to keep using this planner. But for my finance section right now, it's sort of just a catch all for anything that involves money. So I'll have shopping lists, I have gift lists, I'll have um, bills, I'll have reminders, I've got to pay my rent, you know, things like that. It's pretty much all in here. I even have, yeah, grocery lists because, you know, I'm spending money when I have that, <laughs> when I got to get groceries, you know. I'm just going to skip over that section. I've got all this extra random paper. It's like rainbow colors. I didn't use it for anything else and I don't like to waste paper, so I just put it in here. It looks kind of funny, but still use it so oh I have this other picture me and my boyfriend it's really cute I have this divider for my home section this just it really doesn't have much in it I have like stuff I want to add to the house and things projects I got to work on I also printed this cleaning um, task list because I'm kind of like a cleaning freak. <laughs> you know how it is. I have a personal section, which this is probably my most used section because I just am a list maker at heart. I make lists for everything, you don't even know. I got a gym list, planner stuff, clothes I'm looking to buy, self-care, meal idea, YouTube. It's just this whole packing. I got so many things in there. I probably should clean that out anyways. Got some more note paper. This came from cloth and paper. It's kind of cool. Since we cannot change reality, let us change the eyes which we see reality. Powerful, right? Anyways, um, I don't really like this. Um, what even is this? It's just like a thick, I guess it's, you could use it as a dashboard. It's just a thick paper kind of cardstock thing. I put it in the back to keep my pages from bending under the rings since it's still, there's still some room I can still add um, a bit more bulk to this but yeah then I just have some washi tape um, in here that I never use as you can see I feel like my planner is just not like decorated whatsoever it just looks super it's very it's just very functional occasionally you'll see a sticker but hey <laughs> you know it's I just do whatever I want I guess um, but yeah that's my planner um, I've really enjoyed using this. I highly, highly recommend the Moterm pocket size. Um, again, if anyone has any suggestions of Etsy shops or anything, um, <laughs> anything I might want to spend some money on to help organize this and make it look nicer. But honestly, 
what I got going on right now does the job for me. Um, but yeah, if you have any ideas, please, you're more than welcome to comment them down below. But thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.